If you read the tech tip, you know what to do. Yeah, Debra. <laughs> this is uncool already again. I don't know. I'm old. Okay, we're gonna revamp, revamp this Bazooka Cupid from 2010. The bottom two are not colored by me. And uh, yeah, right side 2010 as a comparison. This one is uh, like what I'm doing now is a thumbnail, so I know where I'm like going with the pose. Since it's an illustration, I don't want to have it look too stiff and have a rough idea of where I'm going. Um, yeah. Well, I don't want to have my drawings ever look stiff. I don't know why I was saying that, but <laughs> I'm recording this like that. A script. Please excuse all of it. <laughs> that would be very kind of you. Okay, I'm doing a sketch now, um, like the proper proper sketch. It's gonna be line arted in a bit. Uh, and I, instead of undoing, I erase a lot because I hate the key combination of erasing and the laptop is very far away, like the keyboard with which I draw with and like my tablet doesn't support undo and it's just, it's a whole mess and erasing just feels better. So, um, I also use, yeah, that transformation tool, I just used that rectangle that lifted the whole body, I used the fudge out of that. <laughs> it's a very good, good tool, good for lazy people. <laughs> also good if you uh, draw heads way bigger than they should be, which was um, my, my thing back in the day and maybe now still. Or if you break necks, which was also my thing, you can see it on the right, kind of ish. Well, it used to be worse, like on the 2010 drawing, but I still kind of do it sometimes. <laughs> ah, old broken neck habits die hard. Uh, yeah, now I'm doing a line art. I don't like line art too much, honestly, which is why I'm doing a comic where I don't have to do line art. But uh, this one. Um, is a line art brush that I like. I love using textured line art. Um, it feels better. Everything in my art is about what feels good for me because it's my hobby and I want to enjoy it to the max. So I don't want to do things that stress me or make me feel like, I don't know, I have to like stare three hours at something and then just be eh, semi all right with it. But I do appreciate perfectionists in art. It's not like I judge this. Uh, yeah. I'm laying down the flats right now. Normally, if this wasn't a recorded video and I would have to entertain and show you guys something, I would leave it at the flats because I really love uh, flat colored looks. It's great, it's great. I feel like if you can pull off flats, it's an amazing gift that someone has given you. I'm not saying that I can pull off flats, but I really want to. <laughs> yeah, because if you only use flats, it kind of shows where you're at. Uh, yeah, I actually had that conversation the other day. Fun. It, it uh, res like it resonated in my brain. It's still hanging in my brain, so I'm bringing it up. Uh, I used a little pattern of dots in the background, um, on the clouds and the sky. Mm. Uh, yeah. I will in a bit open Photoshop. Well, now I'm coloring in a, a line art, but in a bit I will open Photoshop and I will change the fudge out of those colors. I love playing around with layers, contrast, saturation, it's amazing and makes so much fun. Uh, it, it's so much fun for me to do sketching and then playing around with the colors out of my favorite steps in digital art. Boom! I can see so saturation cracked up and like a gray layer with luminosity just way up. Mm. This is how it looked before and this is how it looks now. I think it's okay if it's so saturated with a cupid, right? I mean, it makes sense that a cupid would be poppy and modern and vibrant and exciting because love is. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a bazooka cupid is a really catchy design, but not necessarily a good one, I am aware. Blame 2010 me. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed watching this. I hope it was a tiny bit. Um, entertaining. See you again next time. Bye bye. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa.